The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com at the Miami International Boat Show, and this is a boat show glimpse of the latest version of the 190 deck boat from Bayliner. With any deck boat, the main story is capacity and seating, so let's start our look there. She can seat 11 comfortably and it starts in the bow. Bayliner carries the beam well forward to provide this wide open space for the bow seats. Moving back to the cockpit, we start with this port side seat that provides comfort whether facing aft or enjoying the captain's company. Padded bolsters wrap around the port side of the boat ending at the aft bench seating. A step in between these two seats allows for boarding over the side cap rail. Storage is where Bayliner really nails the design. There are two hatches to either side of the bow and the compartment runs right across from one side to the other. The center has the beach tree boarding ladder with room underneath for the anchor. And this is a good time to point out that Bayliner thankfully only uses lift and lock latches, not turn and lock latches. The step leading to the foredeck has a hinged hatch to access even more storage. Bayliner provides these convenient straps on the seats making it much easier to remove the cushions to access the storage below. Notice how wide open the storage access is. Normally, we see the sidewalls being much wider, but here, Bayliner has narrowed them to take more advantage of the usable space, in this case, a full 14 inches. To the side of the console is a hatch allowing access to the dedicated storage for the 25-quart carry-on cooler. And in the center of the two consoles, we have the usual index storage, in this case, hinged from the front to allow easier access to the rear. The port side seat back allows for access into this console, and notice just above this small recessed area for putting items to either side of the stainless drink holders. Under the aft seat, there's storage all the way across, compartmentalized for keeping items separated. Here's a convenient spot for tossing in some quick items, a beach towel, sunscreen. Two additional storage compartments are at the stern. This large one to port has a removable bottom to allow access to the battery. At the starboard walkthrough is an insulated cooler. Convenience features start with this optional porta potty. A privacy curtain drops down from the bimini top. We already showed the bow reboarding ladder, and now there's a second ladder for reboarding at the stern. A convenient freshwater shower is just inside the engine well. And this ski tow pylon brings the tow line above the engine. Now let's move to operations. The helm console has a soft tone to knock down glare. A brow above the gauges prevents reflection in the windshield. Two multifunction gauges flank the trim and optional depth gauge in the center. The stereo is to the left. Just below are two stainless drink holders and a covered storage compartment in the center. An accessory plug and MP3 port are just to the right. The helm windscreen is standard. This full windshield is optional. The wraparound bucket seat includes a flip-up bolster. A comfortable armrest is to the side of the bulkhead. Of course, one of the most convenient operational features is that this boat is outboard powered, providing so much more room and usable space to the cockpit and we really have to appreciate the quality of materials that Bayliner uses. Here, we see custom embroidery, two-toned weatherproof fabric, and multiple densities of foam used in the seats for additional comfort. And there's plenty of stainless steel, including at the rub rail. And this boat can also be <clears throat> decked out for more extreme water sports, fishing, or just family fun. And that's our look at the 190 deck boat from Bayliner. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.